able to take advantage of tonight, do you think? I mean, I think he got a lot of the same looks we've seen him take. Uh, they, they went in. Uh, I think that's it's confirmation for him, but also the other guys. That, you know, once again, we're we're doing the right thing, you know, at times on offense. We, we're generating some quality looks. And, you know, to see it go, uh, to see it go in today was, was good. I know uh, rebounding has been an emphasis for Gafford. And tonight, this would have been a career high after his regular season. What do you think led to him getting 17 points? Just his overall effort and energy. I don't think that uh, – you know, that, that's who he is, and that, 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 that's how he has to impact the game. Obviously, he can block shots. He can be a rim protector, protector for us. Um, he puts pressure on the rim, you know, offensively. But um, just overall mindset, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where uh, the great rebounders, you got to assume that every shot's a miss. So it's just a mindset the guys have. And, you know, I think he's got the athleticism, but just, you know, maintaining that mindset. Three preseason games in now. What did you pull out from this game for them for, to tell them the kind of overall message? I thought our overall effort was better. Our energy and purpose was better. Um, still wasn't perfect. And it's certainly we didn't uh, sustain it. But uh, I was very pleased with how we we came out, now how the ball moved. Um, at times, even our defense was great. Um, but once again, we, we've got to find a way to do that consistently for 48 minutes. Tell me about Montrez. It's immeasurable because, you know, I think at times, you know, whether it's shots aren't falling or we can't seem to get a stop, you know, he makes that play, whether it's a, you know, an effort play, um, you know, he gets a second possession, uh, it's a 50, 50 ball, whatever it might be. Um, those are momentum changing. And I think it's, uh, it's great to see a guy, and know you have a guy who at any time can make those type of plays. Do you ever envision him and Gafford playing together? I'll never say no. Um, I think it's it's not something that we've investigated yet, um, but it's certainly a possibility. You know, there, there are some some teams where two bigs, you know, some nights it works. I think, um, you know, with his ability to score down low, um, obviously both are, are solid defenders. Gaff, you know, obviously uh, is the rim protector, but – uh, it'd be interesting to see, honestly. Is that the kind of a luxury you have with a group like this, that there are multiple lineups you can put out there, but not overthinking the multiple lineups? Well, that's the problem. <laughs> I think because of that, you, you have a lot of flexibility, and that's great. Um, you have the versatility to play guys in multiple positions. Um, but it, it does kind of – it becomes like a matrix. You know, how do we get, you know, the best out of each guy, putting him in the best position to have success? Um, and sometimes it gets a little uh, murky, but uh, you know a lot of that's just from game to game. And you'll see those guys, you know, as the season goes, they'll find a rhythm with the, with the group that they're with. What did you make of Denny's second impact, and then also just about, like the, the swing play where he drove and swung his throat? That one. Yeah, I think I remember that one. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was good. You know, I, I think he uh, his conditioning is is going to continue to improve overall feel, um, understanding what we're trying to do, um, and just that on-court synergy. It takes a, a little bit of time, um, and, and it was better. It was better tonight. So I think, once again, he, the more he's out there, the, the more and more he's going to feel more comfortable, and guys are going to understand where he can be effective. Brad, a shot one for 11. I'm sure you're not worried about him, but I'm just uh, curious, what, what do you think like that? Uh, I'll give defense credit. Uh, they, were, they harassed him. They're physical. Um, but those are shots he makes in his sleep. So I'm not overly concerned with, you know, they were quality looks. You know, I think that that's the biggest thing for me. And um, they just didn't go down. So uh, there's no alarm bell or <laughs> he's going to make it, those those shots in his sleep. Was the ball movement against their length something encouraging as you kind of dress rehearse for the season? Absolutely. We, we got to have more of that. Um, you know, and it, it's been a priority for us because – you know, uh, the more that ball moves, I think it becomes almost that cont contagious nature mm -hmm. where um, those hustle plays, that, you know, you, you're talking about Trez makes, those are momentum plays. Uh, the swing, swing, corner three, those are galvanizing plays that can kind of get your bench going. And I think it uh, that can carry the momentum. So those, those are important. Those were, there was one in the second where I think it wound up getting back to uh, Davis for a three. Mm -hmm. and it looked like that, that they were really chasing the ball. Yeah, it looked like yeah. That was uh, more indicative of what you want to see. Yeah, and, and we, we need to see more of it. What did you think of the communication on defense? 
Uh, slightly better. And I think it's, um, you know, our overall fly around was better. Uh, just that multiple effort where you just keep coming. And it's not always perfect, but that's, uh, that's the nature of the game. Just that energy, um, you know, that second, third effort, that, that wears on teams. And I think that's just something we have to learn to do consistently. All right, we'll go to Zoom. Yuka. Yuka, you there? Sorry. Yes. Hi, Coach. Uh, one more game left for the uh, pregame before the opening game. And many players say that it's very important to you know bond with each other in the very beginning, especially the new team. Um, so we heard the very just return, and he'll be joining the team shortly after the quarantine. How many days of Rui has to quarantine? And do you think he's going to be ready for the opening game or Wizards' first game? Oh, to be honest, I don't know exactly the uh, quarantine status. Um, obviously, uh, I leave that up to our medical medical people. Um, I'm certainly glad that he's back. Uh, I look forward to the opportunity for him to get in, ingratiated to what we're doing. Um, but right now, there's really no timetable. We'll have to see and map things out as uh, once he comes out of quarantine, you know, see where he is you know, physically, conditioning-wise, and um, we'll go from there. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Spoken with him since he said that. I'm not, no. All right, coach. I think that's it. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thanks, everybody. Um, my teammates found me, you know, catching more of a rhythm, you know, trying to figure out um, just the, the dynamic of our team a little bit. You know, it took me some time, first two games, filling things out, you know, how to play with Bill, how to play with Spence. Um, but also, I got some legs back. You know, we've been practicing really hard, getting after it. And, um, you know, I, I, my legs felt pretty good today. And, um, you know, I was confident out there and hit some shots. What did you find out about playing with those two? Um, you know, I, I just got to be a little – I just got to be a little more aggressive. Um you know, from a from a catch and shoot standpoint, um, you know those those are two guys that uh, they're, they're going to have the ball in their hands um, the most. You know, obviously their best playing um, uh, on ball. You know, with the ball, and you know I, I understand myself, and I know I can kind of do both. And you know, just playing off those guys, but also um, you know being out there, you know, with them, but trying to you know make others better around me. Um, so, you know, whether that's being aggressive, um, and if I don't have a shot driving it and trying to find somebody and, um, you know, making my teammates better. What said he liked the ball movement a lot tonight? Was, it, was that just you guys kind of getting used to each other, like you were saying? Or did you actually... Um, yeah, I think that was just part of the synergy that we had out there tonight. You know, I think we had a lot, a lot of positives out there. Um, you know, I'm a very optimistic person and, you know, I, I do look at certain negative things that we've done, but, you know, I think we had, you know, some positive growth today within, you know, two and a half quarters. And especially in preseason, that's the kind of time that really, really matters when, you know, the starters and the rotation guys are really out there. But, um, you know, the ball was popping today. Uh, we had a lot of energy out there offensively. And, um, you know, credit to us, you know, following, you know, kind of an offensive type of game plan. You know, knowing we play a team like Toronto, um, who we just play, the Knicks, they're, they're the same type of defense. They like to pack the paint and, um, you know, heavy nail team, heavy low man team. And, you know, they force you to make the simple pass. And, um, you know, I think we did that today. And that was growth. That was definitely growth. When you were hitting your shots early, how does that activate the rest of your game? Um, you know, I, I, I've kind of always been that way. You know, I think um, – you know, when I when I'm involved early, um, you know, it just kind of sits the table, especially for me when I'm shooting the ball at a high clip. Um, you know, it, it just opens up my whole game because you really have to, you know, close out close out on me. Um, I'm able to, you know, get past guys with my athleticism for my size, and um, you know, it, it just uh, broadens the horizons in a sense. So. Mm -hmm. 
the way he's going in terms of his energy this first week and just from the different last year. What does that do for the play? Uh, you, I mean, you need like you need guys like that. Um, you know, it's hard to play 82 games with um, an extreme amount of energy. Um, you know, just the, the the ground and pound of the season and the travel and uh, back to backs. And you know, I I feel like he's one of the guys that are um, that's in the league that you know that doesn't really apply to. Um, you know, and I don't think it's that that many guys. And you know, for him. Um, He's always bringing energy. He's always on the court, battling for rebounds, um, trying to dunk everything. And, you know, that that ignites him. But also, you know, it brings energy to the team. It brings a certain amount of bounce. You know, when you're out there and, and most of the team is flat and you see a guy that's diving on the, uh, diving on the ground, um, trying to get second chance points for us, you know, that, that sparks and inspires people. So. Does shooting a high clip again, does, does that require an adjustment of it mentally? Um, I had to make adjustment. You know, I, I was shooting my, my, my footwork over the past two games prior to this. Um, I didn't like it. Um, just going back to the film and, you know, watching some things I did last year. And I, I did a little change up this summer, but, um, you know, trying to just get back to, you know, certain type of footwork I had uh, last year and had a lot of success with shooting the ball. Um, and, you know, went over it the past day and a half, you know, just to get that muscle memory back and, um, you know, just kept it going, so. When you say footwork, is it moving like tight side up? Uh, just a certain type of bounce that I have, a certain type of rhythm, um, you know, before I shoot, you know, um, you know, you shoot the basketball with your legs and your feet. And um, I just kind of got back to what I was doing. Out from the start of the season, what, what do you think? This team's identity. That's something you won't know for a month or so. No, you won't know for a month or so. I think that's just, um that's that's always it's always how it goes in this league. Um, as you know, you've been around for a while, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> um, you know, you've seen a lot, so you know. Obviously, um, unless you're on a team that uh, brings back a bunch of people you don't really know your identity, you know, because there's always moving parts in this league. Um, you know, what worked last year for a team, it probably won't work again for that team if you add new parts. So, you know, I, I think the biggest thing is for us, we want to build the uh, identity of defense. Um, and that, I mean, that's the only way to survive in this league um, day in and day out, because you, you can't depend on, um, you know, shooting a high clip from three every day, um, every game. Um, scoring and getting every shot you want. You can't depend on that. It's not sustainable. So, you know, I, I just from um, past experience, you know, defense carries, you know, especially on the road, um, the dog days in January. So that's just something that we have to kind of just build to and, and, and get to. So. What do you think of uh, Scotty Barnes in the first hour on Saturday night? Um, you know, I, I think the uh, number one thing that stands out with him is I just love um, – no, I think he has a certain type of passion for the game. You know, you can tell he kind of loves it. Um, you know, he's he's very enthusiastic. You know, he's out there. He's uh, he's out there screaming and uh, trying to guard the best player. You know, I, I've watched. Um, I think they played Philly um, a couple of nights ago, a first preseason game maybe, and he was picking up you know point uh, maxi or point guards ninety four feet at six nine. So, and then you see him tonight start out the game matching out with uh, Brad. So um, that just tells you a guy that's very, very hungry, that loves the game of basketball and, um, you know, wants to be great, and especially as a rookie being young. Um, it's very impressive to see. What are aspects that you've seen for preseason games where you guys have kind of progressed steadily from game to game where you've retained everything, carried it on, and maybe been able to build on that? Yeah, I think we had a lot of growth today. Um, I mean, take it back, not a lot of growth, but we had growth in um, the aspect of, you know, understanding what a team is going to do defensively and how to counteract that. I think we did a pretty good job of that. Obviously, I talked about how they're a heavy, low, low man team and, and nail team. Um, but, you know, the next step is continuously, you know, being on the right page defensively, uh, know, knowing your personnel. I think we did a good job of, uh, you know, we had a couple of good low mans today from our smalls being down there and uh, um, 
you know, Brad had a really good one, uh, vertical on uh, precious. And, um, you know, th those are just the steps and habits that we kind of need. You know, obviously we turned the ball over a lot. Um, can't do that. And, um, you know, you know, the regular season, preseason, it's all rehearsal. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you can't dwell on things that you do. You know, you just have to keep going and, and figure it out as you go because it's 82 games. So. All right, we'll go to Zoom for Neil. Hey, Kyle, you, you mentioned, you know, you're feeling out the process playing with Spencer and Brad and you have to be more aggressive. Is that something that either coach or any of your teammates have encouraged you about these past couple of days or you're feeling that out on your own? Uh, I'm just feeling that out on my own, really. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, trying to, to fit in, you know, with uh, guys like LeBron and, and AD, trying to figure that out, you know, it's going to pay dividends for me, um, you know, in this type of situation, obviously playing with two <laughs> Uh, dynamic uh, guards uh, that have the ball in their hands a lot uh, most of the game. And, um, you know, I just always just go back to the film. Um, that's all I really know. You know, I go home, I, I watch the game, you know, and um, watch it the next morning and just figure things out, you know, because, you know, those are the answers to the test always. And, um, you know, it just helps you out all, along the way. So. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yep. All right, Kyle, appreciate you. Yeah. Seventeen rebounds would mm -hmm. smash your career high. This is a regular season game. Well, what led to that and um, <coughs> what do you think your, your kind of priorities are these Oh um, well, really just having a be better mindset. The last first the uh, last two games, I really wasn't, you know, really just like producing on the boards so I mean being one of the guys that starting and stuff I, I gotta be able to you know crash the glass have a lot of energy coming into the game so to be able to set a standard for the guys that's coming in so they can you know have the juice to come in so just really just tonight I really just mainly focused on you know being more physical and coming out the gate with just you know tenacity on the boards that's the main thing <clears throat> sorry about that you know. Did you notice about the effort in, in uh, the effort was great you know the last two games it was Kind of shaky with us, you know, we, like I said, like any other person would say, <clears throat> <"Damn, I'm>, <laughs> <laughs> any other, um, any other person would say, you know, still trying to figure it out. But this game, I felt like we were a lot more comfortable. Everybody, you know, uh, first starting five and the guys that came off the bench. No, it's just the preseason, but just having a close game, you have their help kind of just get back in the line. So kind of yeah, really just um, focusing on when we get a lead, keeping that lead and closing our games. You know, in the regular season, guys are going to just really just, you know, let us like they did tonight. And they're not going to let us come back into the game if we give up that lead. It's going to be tough getting it back because, you know, they have the momentum going down the floor, going down the stretch. That's just, you know, the main point of it. But all in all, I feel like it was a great lesson for us, you know, going into this next preseason game and then going into, you know, the regular season because we play the same team in the week. It's going to be the same way. So main thing is really just holding the lead and, you know, holding our own, staying 10 toes down on defense. Maybe um, a dumb question, but block the shot right with your left hand mm -hmm. last game with your left hand. Is that something you've always done, or is it something that you've kind of tried to work on as a right-handed player? Uh, it's a bit rare. Um, usually when I'm ever in a position of just blocking with my left hand, I just go for it. That's just the main thing because, as you can see, I'm usually going with my right hand. So just being able to try to, you know, alter shots with both of my hands, that's just really what's going to help me excel just being a, you know, a shot blocker. You know, just being able to alter shots on the left side of the goal, right side of the goal, either hand. Uh, Neil. Hey, Daniel. Um, so Montrez Harrell got some run with the starters. I'm curious from your you know perspective on the bench, are you ever looking and seeing, oh, that's something different that he did that, you know, maybe I'll try and implement into my game just to you know, kind of iron sharpens iron kind of thing. Really just coming in and picking up where he left off. Montrez comes in with a lot of energy and he comes in with a lot of physicality. So really just coming in and trying to be the same, trying to be in the same mindset, you know, come in, push guys around, get offensive rebounds, get defensive rebounds and block shots. Having high energy, you know, I don't talk shit to the refs like that, you know, but Trez 
yeah, he got he has his own way to talking to the refs. I, you know, try to be respectful. They'll take me up in a heartbeat. So. <laughs> but other than that, really just having the same mindset coming back into the game. Because, I mean, you know, he's coming off the bench. Then when I come off the bench and sub him in, just really just, like I said, just standing that same mindset, you know, pushing guys out the way, not really just taking anything from anybody, you know. And early on, you had a couple and one opportunities. Is that something that you focused on um, this summer with Alex? Oh, yeah, most definitely. You know, yeah, you know, just um, at halftime, I kind of asked Coach, you know, just being in a position to where, like, in our open set where I'm the guy up top and I have the ball and guys are pressuring me, you know, I asked them, is it okay if I just take it take it to the rack, score that, you know? And that's what I did, just having that one opportunity is just, you know, more ways of getting points on the boards for us. And also I got to hit free throws. So that's just the main thing. Thanks, Daniel. Appreciate mm -hmm. it. All right, DJ, appreciate you. That is it. That's cool. You know, not here. My girl is going to beat me up. <laughs>